Hello everyone and welcome again to Christopher's Kitchen where we give you some creative recipes. This one is probably for people who really love the art of cooking, want to spend time doing it, and this will probably drive you right back to the box in the grocery store where you find this stuff. But anyway, here's how you make homemade pasta. Homemade pasta, that's right. You gotta love to do it. You really have to. This is for those people that really want to say, I did it. I'm starting off with five cups of all-purpose flour. Right now, I mean, old traditional ways tell you to put this on a wooden cutting board, make a well in the center and add one egg at a time, but we're all in a hurry here. This is a la America. Uh, then we've got some salt here. Two tablespoons of salt. And I'm just gonna start pulsing that a little bit. Okay, just mix that salt in there. Now we're gonna start adding about one egg at a time. And you really just want this crumbly. Now I've called for nine eggs here, but when you see it, I might stop at eight. I'm gonna go ahead and add my olive oil. I just want it kind of crumbly. Now it did not form like a dough like you would expect, but we're gonna knead it. Uh, see, it's just kind of crumbly. Just where you mash it together and it'll form a, uh, form a dough there. Just bring all this together, just like this. And we'll take a break here and wash our hands so we can get we just want to fold this together just like you're doing a bread dough. And this is a lot of pasta. You may not want to make all this at one time. You can cut the recipe in half. Now I'm going to work with half at a time. For right now, I'm just going to flour my hands a little bit here to keep working. Just the bottom of that cutting board. Really start to work this in until the dough becomes smooth and elastic. Then the longest part about this is we're going to refrigerate it for about an hour and a half to two hours. Okay, now, you can see this dough is uh, it's not breaking now when I roll it over, so I've kneaded it enough. Just gonna roll it over, tuck it in. I'm gonna wrap that in plastic wrap and refrigerate it for about two hours. Now I'm gonna introduce you to the last ingredient here. This is called semolina flour. Places like Rufino Meats may carry it or they'll be able to get it in for you. Now what I wanna do here, this semolina flour is just a very fine uh, wheat flour. It's 100% pure semolina, very important for pasta making. And what that does is helps keep the, the dough dry while we go through this machine. Now we're going to start working it through the machine. On this pasta machine, this is an Atlas. I think it's sort of a generic uh, pasta machine. It's got a hand crank on it. That's what we're looking for. Uh, one is always the largest setting. and You always want to work from the largest setting all the way down to the, not to the smallest. I usually go down to about a five or a six for uh, pasta. But we start this at a one, okay? I'm just going to run this through the, through the machine like this. And you want the pasta to be the width of the machine. So I'm going to fold it exactly to the width of that machine. See, now I'm going to come back here and fold it exactly to that width. And put it back in the machine at, on the same number. I'm still kind of kneading it, actually. Just trying to get it into the right shape that I want it. So now I've kneaded that a couple of times through that machine. Now I'm going to put it on the second setting which is number two, and we just keep running it through, working our way down. And now this pasta is thin enough. And what I would do at this point, put a lot of semolina flour, and just fold it over and just let that dry a little bit, okay? Just let that pasta sit here and dry. And I have one that's been drying just for a few minutes. Okay, I folded this one over and I've got that one drying. Now I'm just gonna cut a little fettuccine or tagliatelle. See, you can hand cut these. In the restaurant, we use a uh, we use a pappardella cut, which is like that wide, which is really nice for um, very thick sauces. And you can make a, a fettuccine cut or a tagliatelle cut like this. And then you would just um, set these up on maybe some some paper like I have here on some parchment paper. You just want to separate those noodles a little bit and put more semolina flour, okay? And fresh pasta cooks a lot quicker, so as soon as that pasta floats, or even before that, you wanna take that out, uh, put it in your serving dish, or mix it with the sauce at that point. If you wanna be rewarded by making the entire meal from scratch, great way to do that with pasta. We do have the recipe available for you online at kbtx.com. Just go to Featured Links, access the food page, and that's where you'll find all of the recipes we feature right here on Christopher's Kitchen. It's been fun as always. Thanks, for our Christopher Lampo, I'm Mike Wright again for another edition of Christopher's Kitchen.